It's old. It's fashionable. It's old. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm going to show you guys how to make a delicious barbecue ranch griddled chicken flatbread. Are you sure? Because <laughs> I, I said flatbread. <laughs> Is it when you go up high that like puts the question? That's, I could say it barbecue chicken flatbread or barbecue chicken flat bread. Let's just do it. <laughs> All right, so today, first off, we are gonna jump in. Uh, we've got our air fryer. I've got this uh, preheating at the moment. It's like a, a medium, medium low, because we've had it going for here for a little bit, so it kind of depends on what unit you're working on, and uh, it really always is about the unit that you're working with, right? And I thought my jokes were bad. For shame! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, so we've got some delicious, come on down here. Uh, chicken cutlets, and why don't we go ahead and just get started with seasoning this? Uh, in the live a little while ago, we gave everybody a chance to pick, and truth be told, we went with all purpose and whiskey burger. Let's do it again. Let's do both. Yeah, okay. Let's, Let's do one. Wait. While we're over here, check this out. <laughs> uh, we used this actually in the last, the last recipe we uh, we did. I really needed to use these because we put the um, the cast iron skillet. Oh yeah. Uh, or serving tray. Use that to melt um, our onchos, and these bad boys came in handy, so check those out. We've got our chicken, now we're gonna add a bit of olive oil, and today, because we're feeling quite spicy, we're actually gonna use both of the all-purpose and the whiskey burger seasoning. Cause we crazy. We crazy up in here, we're a couple of crazy boys. Name that movie. Because I we're a crazy boys. <laughs> Leave a comment. Leave a comment. <laughs> All right, so. Looks great. What do you think? Beautiful. Beauty. Let's uh, head over to the grill, shall we? All right. All right. Take it easy here. Take it easy here. Huh? Uh, okay. So I put a little olive oil down last time. Do you want to? I feel better about it. Well, I'm going to do it. Not a too little much. dab will do you. A little dab. Mr. Bruce Mitchell. All right. So first going down is our all purpose. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. And then we've got our whiskey burger. Here's the deal, it's not gonna take too long, so we're gonna get scooting on our toppings of uh, our pizza or flatbread, our or arguable, maybe. whatever we We'll like. read the comments later. <laughs> that's right, that's exactly right. So I'm gonna peel this off. It's cooking pretty quick, the guy. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Yes. Shall we check? Oh, let's check. That all-purpose has so much flavor. I'm a big, big fan. Oh! oh gorgeous. Look at that, Nate. You were, you were listening. You were monitoring. A little better than I was. Thank you, Nate, for always having my back. Hey, don't thank me, guy. You know, it's my first cooking show. On my second cooking show, <laughs> that is not allowed. <laughs> but on the first one, we're definitely allowed to do that. So we are going to slice up a bit of red onion here. I can't even cut onions in my house without my wife crying and make a big, making a big deal out of it. But you know why now? Because I told yeah, you. Yeah, because of that yada yada and you yada. Made uh, capsicum and saliva and burning the yeah. Watch the clip. It's a bit of a chemical reaction. It's kind of like a uh, capsaicin and peppers mixes with your saliva. Why are you looking at me like that? Nerd alert! See, that's what I'm talking about. Gigantic nerd. All of it has to be made up. <laughs> so, all right. I am good. Let's go check on the chicken. Here we go. Because we don't want to burn the chicken! Okay. You know, flipping multiple times. Yeah. I have not a, I'm no problem with that whatsoever. No, uh, somebody actually made a comment about that in the live video a moment ago. I will flip bacon probably three times each side because I just love to let it like get to a certain point and move it. Just take your time. Certain point, and move it. This isn't a traditional grill. This is a griddle top. We can control that sear. Control that sear, baby. Control. Can we discuss arugula for a second? I'd love to. It's personally one of my favorite topics. I love to discuss the economy the changing weather patterns, migrational birds, <laughs> and arugula. Oh, I love, <laughs> love arugula, bro. Yeah, I, um, this is one of those things that I just didn't know a whole lot about it until I started cooking more, specifically with Nate. We made really great, um, really fun appetizers a long, long time ago. 
and we used arugula, and we also used it on a pizza, I think, maybe even. We, I think we did. An artichoke and arugula pizza That's at some point might have done that. I smell finito. Uh, yep. I smell finished. How about we uh, get these guys out of here? Oh, oh yeah. beauty. Look at that. Perfection. So we're going to set this down, let those hang out just a moment. Before we can start putting our flatbread on the griddle top, we kind of need a clean surface. It's, oh, it's a little. It's you gonna show me how to clean this yes, thing, Mike? Yes, I am going to do so. Um, now we've got our new spatula here. It has this beveled edge, so it makes for an easy cleaning situation. You could use water if you were wrapping up. We're not wrapping up, and I don't mind the flavors and the seasonings um, that could incorporate with the flatbread. So you're gonna just set that down, give it a give it a nice scrape. See all that stuff coming up there? That's that residual seasoning, um, sugars, burning, and gonna slide that in, easy, slide peasy. that out, scraping peasy, I don't know. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's, an, it's a given, right? So I'm gonna turn my burners down here because we don't need this to be quite as hot as I'm getting ready to toast. Now I'm gonna do just a little bit of olive oil um, to help with the toasting process. You need, you need that toasting process to be on point? Yes we do because we want a nice crispy flatbread pizza. So what we've got here is we've got a pre-made flatbread. These are awesome. You can make your own stuff, do it. I will tip. Tipped it. I will tip my hat to you. But I'm not gonna do that, because I don't have time. Because I'm a dad, cooking for my these family. Are great. And these are incredible. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this face side down. And um, kind of I'm just gonna spin it around to just expose it to all that oil, get it on there. And it's not gonna take long. Um, that pre-made flatbread, it's gonna cruise. Do not let it overcook. Then you've got burnt pizza and- it Becomes a cracker. It Becomes a cracker. Oh, by the way, yeah. you might have noticed this before, but my buddy, he makes fun of me. I have this little like hat twitch I do. I have to shave my head because I don't have awesome hair anymore. So I move my hat around a lot. If I do that a lot, just let me do it. Because I'm crying inside. <laughs> uh, by the way, you're gonna need a little sod on the fairway there. Huh? When do you, when do you... <clears throat> <laughs> Let's go. Oh yeah. Just a nice little toast. Look at that. I was gonna touch it, but it's hot. Beauty. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Right, almost done? Yeah. What so that is gonna that's literally gonna take just a second. Let's cut up a piece of chicken while we're oh, waiting, shall stunning, we? Stunning man. Yeah. Now we're gonna do thin slices because um you don't necessarily I mean you could, but we don't want a giant chunk of chicken on our flatbread, because we want to make room for the arugula, for our onions, and don't let me forget, I want to add some crushed red pepper. Oh yeah. Uh, and then, we Is are- Is that a chickadee china? The Chinese chicken? You Grab a drumstick and, and your brain thought chicken. Watch an X-Files when the lights on. That. This is actually one of my favorite tools. I don't think very many people value quite as much as I do. The resting rack. The resting rack is gold. Oh, it's a fantastic tool. It's a, it's an awesome tool. So we're gonna let that sit there um, while it's sitting there because we're gonna come over here and pay a little bit more attention to our toppings. It's gonna sit. The bottom of that crust is mm -hmm. gonna keep toasting, but not too much. Right. Um, so let's talk about our uh, our toppings real quick, and then we'll get to it. It's pretty simple. We're going to do a barbecue sauce. We're gonna do a little drizzle of ranch. We're gonna do arugula red onion. I'm going to not forget to add my red pepper flakes because I wanted to spice this up a little bit. It's got that um, that sweet element with the barbecue sauce. Uh, the the um, arugula um, kind of gives it, it gives it that bitter. Just say um, it. Just say it like a normal person. Umami. 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 What are you talking about, man? We're gonna do some barbecue sauce Cut. first. <laughs> just kidding. Here we go. The trick is you got to move fast. Then we're gonna go the opposite direction with our ranch. Whoa, that Beauty. side was a little heavy. Beauty. But that actually looks really great. Okay. Then, just a bit outside. Name that movie. Just a bit outside. We're gonna do arugula. Let's, let's head on over here. Uh, Beautiful. You know, just kind of set it down. Let, let the chips fall where they may. That's actually something I learned from you. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Generally, the when you're plating, the natural way food falls is the most beautiful. Yeah, just let it happen naturally. Throw a little bit 
of this red onion. I don't want to do too much because I, I don't want it to be all onion. And then let's, uh, let's throw some of this meat down here. How about that, huh? I'm gonna do a little meat party. We could be done there. This is what's gonna make a pizza though. But wait, there's more. Cheese time. Cheese! I love this. Cheese time, yes. Three grated cheese, you maniac. I know, it's madness. <gasps> I have never. So look, I love the flavor of grating your own. Sometimes the convenience of pre-grated is convenient. just convenient. So this is really easy to do. And so now we are going to dome it and steam it. So we are going to use our extra large basting dome. And let me grab some water right back here. I'm gonna squirt some of this kind of back in the corner. Give that just a couple moments. Pro moves. And your cheese is going to melt fast. It's going to be efficient and quick. You won't have to wait long. Your guests won't have to wait long. You won't have to stand in front of a camera and try to figure out something to say while that melts. Is that okay? <laughs> hey guy. Here's the thing. <laughs> Sometimes while you're cooking, you forget things. And in those moments, you don't worry about it. You just hope that you can throw it from behind your back in front and catch it, move on to the griddle top, and continue the let seasoning me take a, process. Let me, um, okay, you just have to do it now. You called it. Hey! Here we Hello, are. Hello, red pepper flakes. Let's see if our pizza had a chance to melt. What do you think? I think it's gonna be glorious. Hey! It is, and let me tell you how I knew that. Because we're filming, and I cheated, and I looked <laughs> to make sure it was actually melting. Uh, it's had its time to do its thing. We're going to dust this. Just a touch of heat. Gonna get a little bit of that nice crushed red pepper heat. Then... Dunzo? We are Dunzo, Bronzo, once. <laughs> Montano. I'm actually. I gonna... said Joe Montaigne. <laughs> I said Joe Montaigne. Uh, we are gonna grab and simply relocate. All right. Shall we slice this and please, dice this and do please it? Please do. Guys, is there ever a bad time in life? Oh. Oh, do you hear that crunch? That's Dude, a great crust. That was a great crunch. Sometimes in life, you just gotta say. Where's the pizza, bro? Who says that? I say that. Well, Let's you get said. Pizza. Okay. Oh wow! Look at oh, that. look! At, come on! Come on! Oh, Dude. hold it still. Let me just see it. That in crust there. is lovely. I do this for my daughters. That's the only reason I'm doing it. All right, kitten. <sighs> I. Ate. It's hot, isn't it? It's perfect. That is a crunchy crust. We got sweet from the barbecue. The ranch really brings it home. Bro, how can arugula be so good on a pizza? Dude, it's that umami, it's that bitterness. Yeah. Oh, nice there time. you go. There you go. Guys, that was a quick, quick fix, quick cook. Um, buy a pre-made pizza crust. You can do a flatbread like this. You could do wheat bread, but that's gross. Don't, don't do that. that. This is CJ's first cooking Please don't show. do this. We have standards. They're low, but they exist. But they are there. <laughs> <laughs> They're way down here. But nonetheless. Well, actually, we, they are way down here. And I will be honest, that is a decent standard, my friend. It is a decent standard. Kudos on your first cooking Thank show. Thank you very much. So I'm going to grab my smoked old fashioned from the last live episode. And let me just tell you, go to YouTube, go to Facebook, go to Instagram, subscribe, follow, Keep watching my show because you feel sorry for me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> no offense. Seriously, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you try it. If you do, do me a solid. Take a picture, tag me in it. I will reshare it. I'm not one of those corporate conglomerate guys like Nathan Lippy who never shares the stuff that people tag him in. No one ever tags me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> If you've got a great idea, tag me in it, and I will try it, and I'll make it. I'll give you credit. Oh, by the way, 
I gave improper credit when credit was due. Uh, on the Frito Bandito, yeah. John Adams, he voted in on the name, but actually, I apologize. I misspoke. He's the one that came up with the Frito Bandito. Daniel, to you good sir, I tip my hat, I say thank you for the excellent idea. In other news, go check out more of our videos, follow, subscribe, like, all that good mis business, business? Business. This is my business. I'll see you on the next episode. If there is a next episode, <laughs> this might be the last one. Cheers. CJ's last cooking <laughs> show. <laughs> you can't keep going if you don't actually know the lyrics. Oh, is that how I sound? Mmm, this is good. <laughs> what the song? That's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap.